Let's take a look how to convert your object into fully editable bitmap. And after that, we're going to check out how to convert that into fully editable vector, which is not the same. So for example, I'm going to go with this arrow as a reference and I'm going to go to the width and the height and the width, I'm going to decrease it to a hundred. Also make sure to lock it, enter. So basically this contains a white fill and a black expanded stroke. So I'm going to select it and add some 3D on it. I'm going to go with extrude and now it already looks better. So now I'm going to go and apply the bitmap. Let's go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to window and select the appearance. And here I'm going to go to the effect, select a rasterize. And here at the rasterize, make sure the color mode is on bitmap. And let's go to resolution, select other. Right now I'm going to try it out with 10 PPI. The background is going to be transparent and click OK. Now let's say I want to increase the pixelation, so I'm going to select it and we can go back to the appearance. Here we got the rasterize, click on it. And now I'm going to increase the PPI. For example, I'm going to go with 20, click OK. And this way you get like more details. If you don't like the position of the arrow, you still can select it and rotate it and fully customize it. So right now in this situation, this is vector, it's fully editable. But the only problem is you cannot customize the pixels one by one. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to select the shape. Let's go to object and I'm going to select the rasterize. Now this is not the same rasterize that we applied before. I'm going to click on it and here I'm going to set up the color mode to bitmap. I'm going to change up the resolution to other and I'm going to decrease it to hundred for the background. I'm going to select transparent and click OK. So only now this image is going to be rasterized. And from here, I'm going to go back to the object and we'll get a new option here. Create object mosaic, click on it. And here you can see the width and the height. And then you also can calculate the number of the tiles. So for example, I'm going to decrease the width. I'm going to go with 50. And in order to calculate the height of this, I'm going to select it and click on use ratio. And this is going to calculate the height. Click OK. And I'm going to put it on the side. A right click on group. And from here, we're going to need to remove these white rectangles. So what I'm going to do is go and select the magic wand tool. I'm going to go and hover over on one of these white rectangles, click on it. And this is going to select all the white squares, press on delete. And about least you're left with the black squares and you can customize it however you like. And pretty much this is how I know how to convert pixels into vectors here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.